I wanted to spend some time and go further into our lines in D minor series. This will be number six. We've had five previous ones. There's a playlist that I'll put a link to in the description below. If you've not yet done so and you're enjoying the content here, I would greatly appreciate it if you would subscribe. It makes a difference. Like, share, and leave a comment. If you'd care to leave me a tip, that would be very nice. My PayPal information's in the description below. And so here we are with lines in D minor part six. So this is a tidy voice motion. And interestingly, it uses only two fingerings throughout. Either this slant shape or straight across slant, straight across, slant, slant. So here's F and D, a first inversion D minor chord. We're going to go up from the first inversion to the second inversion, fifth in the bass, A and D, seven and six. Now, this B flat and G, eight and eight, could be part of C sharp diminished seven, or you could think of it as A seven flat nine, So B flat and G, 8 and 8. We can pass through F at the 6th fret. Here's straight across again, 5 and 5 at the 5th fret, G and E. That's the flat 7 and 5 of A7. We can get the 4th degree suspension in there if we want. 7th fret. sharp second inversion five chord so a7 with the fifth in the bass we can walk back up seven and six seven five and five we can reach up to the eighth fret G and come right back down D minor seven and six five eight and seven Interesting thing about these straight across diminished shapes is that there are other melodic variations. So if I have this is exactly the same one. Here's five and five with seven and seven and six, eight and eight with ten between. B flat and G. Now G and E, the flat seven and fifth of A7. Let's try it another one. Yeah. Slightly different. C sharp and B flat. 11 and 11. Then put A in between them at the 14th fret of the third string. B flat and G here, 11, sorry, 13 and 12. How about down here? Yes, indeed. E and C sharp. Let me roll over here. E and C sharp with a B flat in between. So 2, 2, and 3. And then C sharp and A. Four and two on strings five and three. Leaves you wanting to go to D minor then, which is a good thing. We've talked about these sounds of 
D minor first inversion with F in the bass, just F and D. You can put the A in between if you want. How about a little E half diminished? G, B flat, and E, three, three, five. How about A, A seven, five, six, five? A, C sharp, E. Can put that all up D minor over a pedal of five in the bass. Haven't done them exactly like this. So here's D minor with an A pedal. Seven, sorry, five, seven, six, five, eight, eight. This is G minor over, in this case, over A. Back to D minor if you'd like. Here'd be E7 with an A pedal in the bass. E and G sharp, five, six, five, and now real A7, four, three, suspension, resolution, five, five, seven to six, and then if we had our low D, we could get, if we had a seven string, we could get low D right there. episode wanted to talk about something interesting that I think is a way that Bach, Johann Sebastian Bach that is, mapped his understanding of keys. I've seen from several sources that he focused everything on the note D. It's quite often why I'm in D minor here, but if you think about it from the natural from the uh, key of no sharps, no flats on the piano, the D note has a whole step below, followed by a half step, followed by a whole step. D has a whole step below, followed by a whole half step, followed by a whole step. So it's equidistant on either side with its neighbors. Here's D. Whole step below, whole step above, minor third below, minor third above, a fourth above, seven to twelve, a fourth below, D to A. So you can find this kind of orient orienting in Bach that, at least for his understanding of keys and some mapping on the keyboard in particular, but I also think compositionally too, that the D was central to him, was, if we were in Indian music tradition, that would be Sa, one. Now, so often in this language, we have this natural seven of harmonic minor. So with, with harmonic minor then comes B flat two whole steps below. So if we do melodic minor, raise six, raise seven, one, there was to play uh, that sound of raise six, raise seven, 
one encoded within four major or four dominant, five dominant, one. So that B, C sharp, D ascending line. something in here of interest to you some ideas some sounds some places to go on the fingerboard this is part six i'm sure we will continue because i keep trying to put ideas into this key so that we can map together the fretboard and the harmonic territory of one key in this case d minor and as always of course i wish you a very good day <laughs>